anytime you see Epsom salt, a fish in a bucket, it's never a good sign. So what are we doing here? So after a 10 to 15 minute Epsom salt bath, it's time to take the red caparanda out of here and back into the main tank. As you can see, he, she, unsure on gender, is having a little issue with a swim bladder thing. And that basically just comes down to buoyancy. It's kind of floating up rather than staying stationary in one spot in the tank. I'm doing all I possibly can to fix it right now. We're doing the Epsom salt baths, which basically should relax the fish and relax and excrete whatever is putting pressure on that swim bladder. I'm also feeding them deshelled peas, which acts as a laxative. I've also increased aeration in the tank with the sponge filters and that kind of thing. That can sometimes help. I'm lowering the water level every time I do a water change too. I've increased the temperature to around 78, 79 degrees. Again, this should quicken up the metabolism and hopefully get them to excrete whatever's putting pressure on in the body. Testing the water daily just to make sure everything's golden there. We're also adding Melafix because the fish is floating up. Sometimes the dorsal fin might be in contact with air rather than water. So I'm hoping this might help just in case it gets any damaged fins through that. He's not really struggling too, too much. Still eating, still swimming around. But once he's kind of stopped swimming, you can see he's raising up. Everything else in the fish room is absolutely golden. So... Luckily, I ain't got to worry about anything else right now and I can just focus on the red caparanda and make sure that we get him or her a little bit better. I'm going to give him another Epsom salt bath tomorrow, lower the water level a little bit more and hopefully we can make a full recovery. I do know that fancy goldfish are more susceptible to things like this just because of the breeding and that shallowed shrunken body let's turn the lights off and get a better look at him or her but yeah um recently put a video on instagram of this red cap which actually blew up it had over seventy thousand views which was pretty cool the best videos i've ever done so definitely want to keep this fish healthy and hopefully the methods that we're uh, working on now will do so especially because he's the one fish that I've named um, now. So really feels more like a pet. Name is Megamind for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, as you can see, just floating up. Definitely got some kind of issue. Still looks to be doing well though. So hopefully with everything that we're doing, there will be a fix um, coming soon. If you've got any tips or tricks or anything that you've done when treating any sort of swim bladder issue, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to have this guy or girl make a full recovery. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. I'll be sure to update you on the progress of this red cap and hopefully all will end well because it's an absolutely stunning fish and I certainly want to make sure it stays healthy.